Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a Marc Jacobs like um, enamored with coconut kind of like first impression slash review as you can tell by the title. Right now I'm wearing no makeup because I wanted to apply it like while I'm doing the video and yeah, I've been waiting for this for about a week. I'm really, really sorry that this thing is sold out but I got it like the last restock they had I guess. And it's really heavy and it was quite expensive. I used all my Sephora gift cards. I had to pay like 12 bucks still for like including like tax and stuff. But this is probably the most I've spent at Sephora at one time. This whole set cost $75 and then I think with like tax and stuff it was around like $81.25 or something like that. And uh, I'll show you my sample first looks like it was opened like what the heck it fell out well this someone tried to open or it just got like really messed up while I was traveling someone better not have tried to open my Kush mascara but I got a sample of the Kush mascara from milk and the milk one in store is like a really heavy heavy duty packaging and this one's like a plastic package but I'm still really excited to try this and the results look really really cool and amazing oh my god did they give me the correct samples they gave me the correct samples they gave me the correct samples they rarely give me the correct samples but I'm so excited so I got the Too Faced Hangover RX um, primer to try out and I have the Hourglass, they had so many primers when I was picking out, and they have the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer with SPF 15. And then I got the Briogeo Don't Despair, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And I've had a sample of this before. A lot of people love this so much, and I really loved it when I had a sample a long, long time ago. So here it is. It's so beautiful it's actually kind of smaller than i thought this box would be so here's the package comes in some plastic and um it's just really beautiful it says enamored with coconut and then on the back it shows you everything you got it says i'll go ahead and open it because i'm just too excited so this was such a good deal um i believe the original value of this is around like 130 dollars and all of these products were 75 together so here it comes out this is a really nice like kind of cardboard box but here it is this is beautifully displayed i'm so so excited oh there's a little dent in my package oh my Thing, but this is beautiful and it comes in like this kind of like velvet type thing but I think this is like removable yeah so this is a small travel size kind of gloss and this is in the color French tickler and I know a lot of people love these glosses I've been obsessed with glosses lately so I really want to Ooh, look it's like clear there it's so beautiful does anybody else appreciate this clear a little bit no okay bye I love opening like new glosses and stuff. I think it's so fun. Okay, I'm gonna swatch it for you. That is really, really pretty. It's just a really sheer kind of pink gloss. It's really, really like natural kind of looking. It has a little bit of like kind of a peppermint smell to it, but um little sheer little gloss that's super natural but it's not in any means like super glossy or super pigmented but it is pretty i don't even know if you can tell i'm wearing it right now there's my lips as you can see not super shiny or anything um and i'm wearing like zero makeup so yeah um i got the coconut undercover perfecting coconut face primer can't get it out um these are again in like frosted glass bottles they're super nice super high quality packaging i love it so much even though the set is like a lot of money these things are just so like high quality and it looks beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and pump it okay there some came out and it just feels really really nice and hydrating so i'm going to go ahead and apply that right now but 
And here um, is what I really, really wanted, which is the markups, markups, Mark Jacobs Do Me Drops. And these are just in the regular color, um, Do You Do Drops. And I think this is just like the gold kind of color. I know they came out with like a limited edition rose gold color, but this is just the normal one. So I gotta pump it until some comes out. Not too thick, which I'm very pleased about. I don't like product that's too thick but there it is like really kind of just glossy and shimmery and it feels like kind of a moisturizer oh that gives a really beautiful sheen compared to like all my other kind of moisturizer stuff I've had in the past um I think that's really nice um before I go ahead and put that on I'm just gonna kind of show this this says press down completely for a fine mist I know a lot of people complain about like that so I'm really glad they put like this kind of thing there so it just reminds you that um you need to press down for the mist to deliver oh my god I almost dropped this stuff but yeah this is a really good size setting mist um, setting spray mist. I have a bunch of setting sprays, so let's see how this kind of works out. So, yeah, if you don't press down, it smells good. But if you don't press down fully, let me just see. It's kind of like a spray, like straight, like just a little spray. But if you press down, that's a really nice mist. I don't want to waste it. Let me put on my face. You're welcome. I just wasted product for you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and do a little get ready with me. So let's get started. So I'm going to apply a little bit of... Oh, actually I already applied primer. I already applied the coconut primer. But I'm just going to um, apply a little bit of this, which is the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. It's really, really lightweight. Really, really... Um, light coverage um it does feel really smooth and nice um sometimes I have like pilling problems I don't know if that's because of my sunscreen but it does feel really smooth and it's going on really nicely it does feel really really smooth kind of like a silicone type thing so that's really nice I don't really have any big pores or anything or anything like that so I can't really tell for different concerns like that sorry about that but again my thing applied really nice looks just normally as it does just maybe a little less glowy because the backlight priming one does provide glow but I'm gonna use like probably like um, half a pump of this okay one of the main reasons I wanted to get this is because Desi Perkins always talks about mixing it with her iconic drops now I cannot afford buying both of them I'm going to try this one by itself. I'm just going to kind of pat it in the areas just where I kind of want to glow more. Put some on my chin. Put it obviously on the highlighting points. And then take a little, put it on my forehead. And then I'm going to take a little bit and put it below the brow. And this is damp, so now I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. All right, so I kind of bounced everything in now. Let me look. Okay, you can't tell that much in on camera, but it does have a really nice luminous glow to it. You know, I'm like having really high expectations because it does cost a lot and it's very height. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone to kind of use a flash. Ooh, that's that's really really pretty. So probably natural sunlight will look beautiful, but do you see that? Like on my regular skin, it looks like nice, but here, oh my god, I'm kind of like taking back what I said because it's just so beautiful. 
and the light oh my god i put so much everywhere actually i'm gonna go ahead and kind of like finish the rest of my makeup all right i was gonna be applying my mascara like usual but i decided i should probably do like a little first impressions of the kush one i'm just concerned that my lashes are gonna droop with this but I love volumizing mascaras, so my lashes aren't really staying that curled. My lashes, I usually use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Voluminous like Waterproof one. Alright, here are my eyelashes. I don't particularly, particularly think they look amazing because I'm usually into the more dramatic effect this kind of looks like it could be my actual lashes and it feels super light like it feels like I have nothing on honestly on but when I kind of rub it I it kind of like comes off finally when I'm like done I'm just going to be using this Marc Jacobs setting spray that felt like super fine there's a little bit of water droplets, but honestly, not that much. A setting spray, so when there's like not that much coming out, I like kind of like go crazy. Um, like the Tatcha one, I guess this is kind of like the Tatcha one. You can't really feel it because the mist is so fine. It gives you that dewy kind of look. I'm all in for it. I feel like it does i feel like people kind of said it made it you look oily which i kind of agree with it kind of looks like you've been like a little in the sun like i don't know i feel like this did give you a natural glow it's kind of really nice that it just looks dewy didn't look like you really tried too much which i guess is really nice but yeah i'm gonna reapply the lip gloss because honestly I feel like it came off and I'll kind of show you it the lip gloss is probably my least favorite product so far when you come up close I guess it kind of looks shimmery but like the colors not really there and the pigments not like I don't know that I don't really like this color. I would recommend all the products, I think, except this. Do I think this is really necessary? You can get a cheaper one. Yeah. But it, I think all these products are really nice. And I think this set was a really, really good deal. But, again, it sold out. I mean, I mean, not sold out. Well, it was sold out, but they also don't even sell it anymore. So I'm really sorry to anybody who kind of like saw this set now and they really wanted it. But honestly, I like saw it and it was like in stock for like a day. And I emailed them and I was like, when is it going to come back in stock? Because I wanted it since like March. And then it didn't come back in stock till like a week ago. And I was checking, I'm pretty sure, almost like every single day. But um, they emailed me and said I was coming back soon. And they sent, put me on the list f to be notified when it comes back. But they, n I never got an email when it went back in stock. And I just had to check myself. So honestly, I think that program they have is not the best. But honestly, the highlighter on my hand looks beautiful. You can't even see it so beautiful on my hand and like in the sunlight the highlight looks really really nice um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm really sorry this video is super super long but yeah bye